are you trying to push your agenda on them by being pushy? Or are you trying to tell them something that's going to help them? Are you gracious? Is your speech full of grace, seasoned with salt, or is it full of salt with a tad bit of grace? Which way is it? A good report. Do they talk about you as going about doing good? Or is going about causing trouble? Now let me say they said that of Elijah, you're the one that troubles Israel. Elijah said, oh, no, 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 time out. You're the one that's causing trouble here, buddy. King, I, I, I'm not. I, I'm just trying to do it for God. All I'm trying to do is love, love on God and try to help this country. You see how it can happen? They can twist things. But when they, when they do twist things, is it that they're twisting things? Are you a good reporter? Are you suffering as an eagle? Did? That's our meditations on those things. It brings about motivation. It'll motivate us to meditate more and to manifest some things. Which brings us back to our verse again. Our verse says, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Virtue. I always love that word. Who can find a virtuous woman? Her price is far above rubies. A woman who has virtue in the way she carries herself, behaves herself. The one who is a, has the meek and quiet spirit, that does not mean she's always quiet. That means she has a meek and quiet spirit. She does not come across as a brace, even when she speaks. It does not mean that she cannot say a thing. The context is Sarah called Abraham Lord. She had a bright spirit about her. She knew that he was, the husband was the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church. She knew that. She submitted, but she did not say, she did not not talk to them. They had many conversations. They spent their life talking to each other. Now she convinced them to do some things that he, she should not have done. There's a couple of times she didn't talk up enough, and guess what? He did some things he shouldn't have done. But she had the right spirit about it. But I was, I was telling you, I like that who can find a virtuous woman the price is far above rubies. But that's not the only place that word is used. That thing about virtue. In the book of 2 Peter, in chapter 1, in 2 Peter chapter 1, he makes the statement, verse number 3, according as, as his divine power has given unto us all things that pain of the life and godliness, through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue. A life that is virtuous. Whereby are given us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these you might be partakers of divine nature, having escaped the corruption. The opposite of corruption is virtue. That is in the world through love. And besides this, giving all diligence, or giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue. It is the next step in the Christian life. Faith produces a virtuous living. The just shall live by faith. So it brought adds on our faith and from there we go farther to knowledge, to temperance, uh, to patience, and to godliness. And then to brotherly kindness. And that last of all, we come to full charity. Perfect. God has shown us a pathway in virtue, that virtuous life. And then there's praise. Is that not what he says? If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. If there be any real praise from God for us and our behavior, and from us to God, 
There has to be virtue. And the only way to have true virtue is not by finding a way to make yourself follow rules and regulations, but meditation on the things that are true, that are honest, that are pure, that are loving, that are biblical. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, meditate. Think on these things. Purpose. Think on these things. I ask you, what do you purposely think on? When you wake up in the morning, do you get yourself in the Word of God? Now, I'm not saying you might not have to get your cup of coffee or your shower first to wake your eyes up and your head up. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, do you try to get in the Word of God as soon as possible? To try to let the Word of Christ dwell in you richly. So that when you go throughout the day, you're meditating on the Lord and on His Word. On His work, on His work of grace, on His ways, on His wisdom. What do you think on throughout the day? <coughs> we think of people think of wages, war, and work. We ought to be thinking on the one. The work, the work of grace, the wisdom of God. Think on these things. If there be any virtue, and if there be any pride. Think on these things. Father, I thank you for today.